Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Yoohoo Air Quality Monitoring System and talk to you about my experience with trying to integrate this into Home Assistant using the HEX integration. So the Yoohoo range of sensors comes from a company that was founded to develop commercial applications for air quality sensors. And a couple of years ago, they came out with this home-based unit, which sells for around $299. So not on the cheaper end of side, but um, for the amount of different things that it is sensing or air quality components that it's sensing, not too expensive. Um, if we have a look down here, we've got things like temperature, humidity, CO2, CO, volatile organic compounds, air pressure, nitrogen, ozone, a virus index, as well as a parts per million index. So it's got a lot of different options that it's showing here. Um, the app itself is reasonably good. Downloaded the app onto my iPhone, and it then gives you the steps to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. You link it up to the Wi-Fi network. It can be quite difficult to link up. Sometimes you have to redo this a number of times before you can get to this to work. Once it's linked up, you can then obviously see the information pulling into your phone and you can then see the graphs and things that come up on the app itself. But what I was more interested in with this device was looking at the integration into Home Assistant. So let's look at that now. So I search for a Home Assistant Yoohoo integration and um, found it here on the community home assistant community store and as you can see over here yoohoo home assistant hex integration so thank you very much to the people that created this and if we scroll down here um, you can see there we go there the whole integration is so basically it's a hex integration so all we need to do is copy this custom uh, repository uh, we'll go copy and then we go over to our home assistant instance and paste it in as a hex integration in the repository all right so we go along to our hex component we go to custom repositories by clicking on the little three dots at the top there and we go and paste this custom repository in here and it's an integration so we go add and it'll then add it in at the top there. We now click on that over there and it will bring that custom repository up. Now what we need to do is go download. This will now download the repository. There we go. As you can see, we're downloading the latest version. So there we go, we've downloaded that now. Um, so now it should be available. There we go. It's all available to us there. Now we can go to our settings and we go to, okay, it's asking us for a restart. So we need to go and restart this. There we go. And we wait for the restart to finish. All right, so now that Home Assistant has restarted, we go into settings and we go along here and we go devices and services and we're going to add an integration. Now over here, we just search for Yoohoo, there it is. So we click on that. And now it's going to ask us for the password, well, the username and password that we created when we created the account on the Yoohoo app. So I'm just going to add mine in here. And my password. And I submit that. And now it will go in there and it says it's a success. So that's great. As you can see, it's adding it onto my Alexa as well, which is awesome. So I'm going to put this into the bedroom. And there we go. Here's my Yoohoo device. And there we are. As you can see, it is pulling through all of my items. So we've got pressure coming in there. That's air pressure, carbon dioxide. And if I check that against my other CO2 device, the Aeronet 4, I've got 754 on the Aeronet and 688 on the Yoohoo. So that's pretty close. Uh, carbon monoxide is showing a zero, so that's good. 
humidity 39%. I've got 46% on my Aeronet 4. So I would probably trust the Aeronet 4 more than this device. It's a more expensive sensor. Benefit of this is we've got some additional items. So we've got the nitrogen dioxide. We've got the ozone over here. And then we've got these PM2. Now, suddenly, as I was looking at those, you'll see they just disappeared. And this is the problem I'm having with this integration. For some reason or other, it pulls the numbers in, but then it just goes unavailable after a minute or so. If I now restart Home Assistant, it will pull these figures in again. But for some reason or other, it's not updating. So I'm going to see if I can create a... Um, a note and send it through to the developer of this hex integration see if we can have any luck but it's unfortunate because the device seems to be working really well pulling the data into the app but for some reason or other the integration into home assistant is falling over but anyway at least i've showed you another sensor in the marketplace and hopefully this hex integration can get fixed up at some stage anyway that's all for me now have a great week bye then